One of Pete Buttigieg's strategies right now to win in the Nevada caucuses involves attacking Medicare for All. His campaign announced they were launching a new TV spot for the state, highlighting his Medicare for All Who Wants It plan. It's a strategy that former healthcare executive Wendell Potter claimed will thrill his former colleagues in the insurance industry since the plan would preserve the current health care status quo. And Wendell joins us now via Skype to explain more. He currently serves as president of Medicare for All Now, and it's great to see you, Wendell. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me back. Just, of course, ex Wendell. just explain your position here a little bit. You know, what is it about Pete's plan that you think is problematic? Well, as you noted, it preserves the status quo to a large extent. It keeps the insurance industry fully in charge of our health care system. And that is why we are having this debate in the first place. It's why in, in 2018 we saw health care be the top issue. And it is now, again, we saw in Iowa and, and New Hampshire both that those who who went to the caucuses and went to vote, six out of 10 said that they were supporting Medicare for all and not Medicare for all who want it. And the reason for that is because they're, they're really fed up with how the insurance companies have been able to control their access to health care. And there are many different ways that they do that. And Pete's plan, as I said, would thrill them because it, it lets them keep doing the things that they've been doing and making the profits off of all of us. So here's one interesting thing, Wendell, I'm sure you've seen, is the Culinary Union in Nevada, a very powerful organization, largest union there, has distributed flyers to many of their members saying that Medicare for All would ruin the health care that they negotiated for their union members. This is a common thing that we've heard against Medicare for All, uh, against proponents, and frankly, it seems like it could work. What do you think, maybe what's the response to that, to the Culinary Union and their leadership? Well, I think it's not uncommon. We have seen that with some unions, although I will point out mm. that a lot of unions are supportive of Medicare for All, and they understand that if if this is taken off the table, if it's not something that's bargained for, then unions can really focus on, on working conditions and trying to get workers better wages, and that should be the ultimate goal, because in the current system, uh, money that we should be getting in our paychecks goes to insurance companies because those in premiums go up every single year. But what I would say to the, the workers in Nevada and elsewhere is that if you even if you have union coverage, if you get coverage to the workplace at all, you are at the mercy of your employer. There's no guarantee that you will have that coverage tomorrow. We're all all of us who have that kind of coverage are just a layoff away from being in the ranks of the of the uninsured. And here's another thing, too, that I think that workers need to realize is that when you are in a private plan, regardless of whether you have a union or not, it is your insurer and your employer that really calls the shots as to whether or not you'll get the care that you need. Uh, one of the things that is a part of, of um, uh, health insurance, and one of the reasons, quite frankly, that I left my job was because of that. Uh, a lot of folks talk about Cadillac plans. I left because a young woman in California, actually a 17-year-old girl, who was in a Mercedes plan, literally a Mercedes plan, was denied coverage for a liver transplant that would have saved her life. So I want everyone to know that when you are in that kind of a plan, you are not in control, nor is your doctor. Her doctor mm -hmm. said that transplant would save her life. You know, Wendell, I have to say that judging by uh, the strength of Bernie Sanders' support among working class people, I think workers do know all of that. I mean, these are disingenuous attacks from the, from the leadership and also from the Pete campaign, among others. I do wonder what you make of his political shift here. I mean, he used to support Medicare for all. Funny how that changed once he started running a presidential campaign and getting a lot of money from billionaires and including some health care executives. Absolutely. And from what I understand, he has received more money from health care executives than any candidate except except Trump. So that should that says something for sure. And he's been taking a lot of money, a lot of uh, big dollar donations from from the industry. So that's telling. The other thing that's important, though, is that even in what he's advocating has the name Medicare for all in it. Uh, so or Medicare, because he knows that brand uh, clearly is something that that Americans support. It's just the way he would he would uh, implement his plan, as I said, would leave the insurance industry very much in place and in control, which is obviously why they give him so much money. This is going to be a very interesting case study, isn't it, Wendell, which is that you see, I mean, Nevada, one of the biggest, especially this caucus is in the Democratic electorate, is one of the biggest union states, the culinary union, and them are throwing all, most of what they have against 
the program. Do you expect that Bernie will prevail on this message despite all of that? I'm looking at it very much as a test case for many of the attacks I've seen in the party against Medicare for All. You know, I think he'll prevail if he and advocates can really help explain why uh, union members would support or you know, how they would they would uh, fare so much better under Medicare for all, uh, how this would be absolutely guaranteed health care and, and health care in which they don't have to pay high deductibles before their their care, you know, before their coverage kicks in. And they can have a, a choice of any doctor or hospital they want to go to. Uh, usually, even in, in, in union plans, you don't have that kind of choice. Um, so it will, be, uh, it will be interesting to watch to see how he articulates that and how advocates are able to explain that to union members. And again, to point out to those union members that there is a lot of union support for Medicare for all around the country. Mm -hmm. And Wendell, you know, the, P, the argument that Pete makes, I, I heard him on CNN making this last night, is, oh, well, this is all a path to ultimately getting Medicare for all. This is like the first phase. It's kind of the same argument that Elizabeth Warren makes, frankly, about her now two-step phase transition plan to Medicare for all. What do you make of that approach? I just don't buy it. I don't think, I think that would, it would set up too many barriers to us ultimately getting there. And again, uh, as long as you keep the insurance industry in place, uh, they spend enormous uh, amounts of money, as we noted earlier, in campaign contributions and lobbying and propaganda campaigns. I've often said that what we'll be facing, uh, and we are already seeing it, is the, the, the mother of all propaganda campaigns. I think we need to move as quickly as we can to Medicare for all and not have years and years waiting for it and, and not keeping this system in place because literally people are dying and they are having to file for bankruptcy or go to GoFundMe to get money to pay for the care that they need, even if they have insurance. Why do we want to wait? Why we, you know, we need to move expeditiously to get rid of, of the system that we have now. Mm. Well, Wendell, Wendell, great to have you. We always appreciate your analysis. Thanks. So helpful. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. And everyone, if you want to know more about our work, go to MedicareForAll.org. Thank you. Our you people go. will do that. Thank you, Wendell. Coming up, the backlash over Bloomberg's comments on stop and frisk won't go away despite him throwing money and surrogates at the crisis. Team Rising is going to weigh in on all of that next.